Researchers have been monitoring the health of this forest on the outskirts of the northern Thai city of Chiang Mai. Rather than heading into the woods themselves, they send this drone aloft to do the work. Uh, during the drone fly, uh, we collect the data or capture in every three seconds. That means when we put all together of the photo that we get from the mission into the model, we can create or uh, generate the 3D model. The 3D image reveals the state of the woodland's health, helping to estimate how much carbon dioxide it can absorb. Carbon dioxide is the main one. Trees, through photosynthesis, are sucking that carbon dioxide out the atmosphere and converting it into wood. The 3D models help researchers understand how much greenhouse gas the forest can store as part of efforts to fight global warming. Using drones also helps preserve forests since it eliminates the need for researchers to venture into the woods where they may damage the undergrowth. Drones, however, have one major limitation. They cannot see below the canopy. French researchers working on the project say a way around the problem is LIDAR, high-resolution remote sensing equipment that effectively scans the whole forest. LIDAR measures the tree's absorption capacity by measuring their height, girth, and wood density, dimensions which differ by species. A LIDAR is actually have, have the same objective, but it's much more accurate. It can go inside the forest, inside the trees, and really uh, reconstruct, reconstruct the, uh, the shape and the size of each tree a drone-mounted LIDAR can also conduct advanced analysis of microbes and fungi in the soil that sustain trees. Researchers plan to expand the study around the country. So the aim is to uh, estimate at the country level for every places in every location in Thailand to calculate how much car carbon can be stored by one hectare of forest every, everywhere in Thailand. The stakes are high amid fierce debate on whether existing estimates of the world's forest carbon capacity are correct. The technologies are um, evolving. The these satellites are more and more uh, precise if you compare to the first Landsat of uh, the 1970s. And uh, the, the statistical technologies are also uh, more and more precise. That can only be good news for Elliot and his team, who have led a decades-long project to reforest about 100 hectares of land in the area with a handful of key species.